hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. So today's video is gonna be a cleaning motivational video as I deep clean my fridge and my freezer. Freezer. And today's video is also in collaboration with Alyssa here on YouTube who has a similar channel to mine. She posts tons of cleaning motivation, some recipes, and some organization. She has tons of motivational content on her channel. So you definitely wanna go check her out after this video. So I'll just let her introduce herself to you. Hi there, my name is Alyssa and I am so excited to be doing this collaboration with my friend Sarah today. Over on my channel, you can normally find cooking, cleaning, and lifestyle content, and I'm also sharing my weight loss journey through weekly vlogs. I hope that after you finish with Sarah's video, you'll come hang out with me for a little bit and say hi in the comments so that I can welcome you to my channel personally. Thank you so much, Sarah, for doing this collaboration with me, and I hope to see you. After you're done with my video, definitely go check out Alyssa's video on her channel. She has tons of motivating content that you won't want to miss out on. So if you do enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as that does help my channel a lot. If you do enjoy today's video along with other content you see here on my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. So don't forget that red subscribe button and that notification bell so you miss any future videos from me. So the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out of the fridge so I can see what I'm working with. So these are some of the shelves that came out. So this is one of them. Look how gross that is. And like look all the crumbs in here. So. I actually didn't realize you could take these out, so I'm glad I took these out accidentally. So those are some of the shells that were in the fridge. Let me know in the comments below how often you clean your fridge and freezer out. I don't do it often enough. I only do it a couple times a year. But I wanted to show you guys the before, so you got the true, real life dirtiness of my refrigerator. I feel like it's something that we, I personally don't think about very often because it's often filled with food, so I don't always look at it and care about it. But this part right here, especially on the shelf, really got to me. So then I was like, you know what, I got to get this done because it's just to the point where it's kind of grossing me out. Here's a real life dirty moment. Look how dirty this piece of glass is that's above the crispers on the shelf. So disgusting. Once I took the drawers out, the next thing I was gonna do was I wanted to wipe out the whole fridge by spraying it with some pink solution and wiping it down with a wet microfiber cloth. And if needed, I was gonna dry it off with a dry microfiber cloth, but in most cases I didn't have to. So I wanted to go through and do this on the whole entire surface of the inside of the fridge. So the shelves, the sides, the ceiling of the fridge, the bottom of the fridge, the whole entire thing I wanted to make sure I got to. Um, some areas weren't that bad to wipe down, but I think where most of the dirt and grunge was, was on those clear shelves and then also um, under the drawers where the crisper and the cheese uh, drawer and everything is. I got you, and you got me too. Cleaning all these clear shells off was probably the most satisfying part of the whole fridge clean. Everything just looked so shiny and the shells were so smooth and not gritty anymore to the point where actually when my husband came home from work that day, I, I showed him the fridge and was just like, look how clean it is. And I said, look, the milk just slides in and out, the food just slides in and out and it's almost glistening in the light. I don't know, it was just extremely satisfying. I love before and afters, but this probably was one of the most satisfying before and afters when it comes to a clean out like this one. I thought I'd quickly introduce myself. If you are new to my channel and did come over from Alyssa's channel or just stumbled upon my video today, my name is Sarah. I'm a married mama three and I post tons of content with lots of cleaning, organization and decluttering motivation. And I post the odd recipe for baking or cooking and a little other random content in between to do with mom life. So I hope you'll join my YouTube family and hit that red subscribe button before you leave today. I appreciate all the support and let me know in the comments below. If you are new, say hello. I love to say hello and interact with you guys in the comments. It amazed me how dirty it was underneath where the drawers are because the food is in the drawers and there's shelves above it so food can't really get there. 
but it was still quite dirty and gross and it just amazed me because there's a drawer there. I didn't think of it as an area of the fridge that would be that dirty. Once I got the fridge all wiped out, the next thing I wanted to do was get this big glass uh, shelf piece wiped down. So I just used some dish soap, the microfiber cloth wet, and then sprayed it off, and then I dried it off, and then wanted to get back in the fridge right away because I was concerned that I would put it down somewhere or break it. So I got that put back in there, and then next thing I was going to do was fill the sink with some dish soap and water, but actually first decided to clean out the sinks. And then I was going to wash all the shelving that came out from the door, as well as the two crisper drawers and the cheese drawer. So I'm one of those people that once I decide and commit to doing a project or doing a task, I will put all my energy into it to get it done. So when I was doing the fridge and freezer clean out, I knew I wanted to get it done when my youngest was at preschool and I had two hours to do it. So I just got home from preschool, I got everything out and I just started doing it. And I told my sister I was determined to get it done because I didn't want to have to put everything back in the fridge or freezer and continue on after I picked them up. And I got this done in the two hours. So I was extremely proud of myself and it felt so good to go pick them up from preschool knowing that I had cleaned up my fridge and freezer. And then if I didn't do much the rest of the day when it came to chores, that was okay because this was a major task in itself to get done. Take a look at this fridge. It looks so shiny and clean and refreshing. And I just had to show you guys what it looked like before I started putting all the food back because of course the food will cover a lot of the hard work that I did. So it just was so satisfying just to see this before I started filling the fridge up that I just made me smile and I felt so good that I got it done. Now that the fridge is all cleaned out, it was time to put all the food back. I put most of the food back in the same spot. Some of it I rearranged slightly, but this is a perfect opportunity to move things around if I want to, because of course we're all creatures of habit and we'll put everything in the same spot as we always do. So this was the time that I thought if I was gonna change anything, now I'm gonna do that. I should probably get stainless steel cleaner. I don't have any, but I just want to at least get it wiped down, get some of the sticky finger marks off the handles, and wipe the tray from underneath where we fill our water. So I want to get that at least wiped down. I also have sticky notes usually on the fridge because that's how my husband and I kind of remind ourselves of a few things we need to get done since we're always looking at the fridge. It was time to move on to the freezer now. The freezer had a lot of stuff in it, so I wanted to organize things a bit better so that I could better see what was in there and kind of categorize it a little bit. And then definitely give it a wipe down because there was definitely some crumbs in here and a few little uh, splashes of sauce that dried up or something. So it was perfect timing to give it a bit of a wipe down, but it wasn't as bad as the fridge. Because it's a drawer style freezer, I always find it a bit awkward to clean out because you're kind of leaning into a really deep space because of the deeper drawer and then the shallower drawer. So I just find it awkward to clean out in general. And also I didn't want to take too long to clean it out because I didn't want my freezer stuff sitting on the counter for too long.
Once it was wiped out, it was time to put everything back in. I was trying to categorize everything by putting similar items together. I had a bit of a struggle because I had a whole bunch of chicken bones from the barbecue chicken that we get from Costco, but I did get, end up giving them to my mom because she likes to make a lot of soup with it. So that definitely freed up a lot of space because on the top drawer on the right, that was filled with all those. We probably had eight or nine bags. So that definitely freed up some space, but I still was happy with how the freezer looked when I was done. It feels so good to get this done. It was so satisfying seeing the fridge and freezer all cleaned out for a few days. Every time I opened the fridge, I was just amazed and admired how clean and bright the fridge was and it just looks so good. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope it provides you with tons of motivation and inspiration to work on your fridge and freezer if it's long overdue for a clean. Don't forget to check out Lissa's video. The link will be in my bio, my description box below for her channel and her video. Definitely show her some support. She has tons of motivation as well for you. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you did enjoy today's video, along with other content you see here on my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing. It would help my channel out so much. So don't forget that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you miss any future videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and clicking on my video today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.